Hey, what's going on? My name's Andrew, you can call me Pooch, and I'd like to welcome you to the Less Lonely channel. Y'all, I'm really glad you're here. Today I want to invite you to get ready for a video shoot with me. It's gonna be fun, we got a lot of gear to get through, and we got a lot of stuff to prep for. So, let's do it. So look, if we're talking about getting ready for a video shoot, the first thing we've got to talk about is what type of video shoot is it? It's really important to understand what your project's going to be because it's really easy to either overpack or underpack and not really be prepared for what's ahead of you. So this week's shoot is actually two half days at a local brewery. It's their grand opening and I got contracted with the agency that's helping them with their branding. I don't actually don't have any footage of the space yet, obviously, but I did do a location scout and I snapped some pictures, y'all. This space is huge. So the object of this shoot is obviously to capture the grand opening, but they were very explicit that they don't want this to feel cheesy. So look, I understand like, it's easy to say we don't want things cheesy, but I had to dig a little bit deeper because not cheesy could mean a lot of different things for a lot of different people. So after asking some more questions, what I found out what they really wanted was my style of content creation. They didn't want it to feel like a wedding video or anything like that. There's nothing wrong with those. They just knew what they wanted and I happened to fit the bill for them. Feels pretty good, not gonna lie. A couple of more details that were important for me to gather before the shoot was location. Obviously, we're gonna be on location at the brewery. Specific shots, if they had anything that they wanted. And then ultimately, my time frame. It's gonna be about three to four hours for Friday and Saturday. Like I said, two half days of content capture. It's gonna be great. Look, I'm not one for details, but this kind of stuff requires it. So when you're getting ready for your shoots, make sure you ask as many questions as possible. Don't be afraid, because if you don't, and then you don't deliver on maybe an expectation that was assumed, no one's gonna be happy, including yourself. And look, here's the good news. Once you get done with all those details, you get to figure out what you're gonna bring on the shoot. The first thing that I always do is that I start by putting together a checklist on my iPhone. It's super simple, but it works for me, especially when it comes time to actually load up the car. Next up, I'm gonna need a variety of lenses. I know I'm gonna need tight shots, wide shots, and everything in between, so I'm definitely gonna bring the RF 15 to 35, as well as my RF 85 millimeter, and honestly, I'll probably also just throw my nifty 50 in the bag just in case. Next thing on the list is the R5. After that comes every single Canon battery I own. The LPE6 battery is a staple. I get as many as I possibly can, and I also make sure to bring the chargers with them so that I can charge while I'm running around shooting. After that, I go for my small rig R5 cage. I'm not much of a gimbal guy, and that's not a flex, that's just me being lazy. I like this, it gives me a couple more extra points of contact, and it feels really good in the hand. Next up, I'm gonna bring my Atmos Shinobi. It's an external monitor. I use it so I don't have to look through my tiny flip LCD on my camera. Once again, I'm bringing monitor batteries and I'm gonna bring the charger so that I can charge them as I go. Since I'm gonna be inside and outside, I'm definitely bringing my variable ND. This is the Polar Pro Peter McKinnon version. I think it's edition one. I've shown this to you guys before. It's kind of a staple. It goes on my camera almost all the time. Next, I got my little Rode VideoMic Pro. It's just for on-camera audio, in case there's a special moment or someone says something, or even just for ambient noise in the background of the video. There's no talking, so I'm not gonna use it for anything specific, but it'll definitely be worth it. Probably the most important thing I'm bringing is the SD cards. Obviously, you can't do anything without them. There have been moments where I've almost gone to a shoot and had to turn around because I realized I left these in my bag or on the table, and that would just be completely embarrassing. And last but not least, I've got my quality of life items. These are just in case items that I feel like it's always good just to throw in the bag and have with me. And now that we have all this gear figured out, we charge batteries, we clean lenses, we clear SD cards, and we wait. I also like to take the downtime before a big shoot to, you know, just kind of maybe step away from the cameras for a little bit or watch some other cinematographers and videographers out there that I really like to gain inspiration. I was talking to my friend Keith just last night and we were discussing just how much things have changed when it comes to video work, especially like content creation for digital consumption websites, social media, what have you. I have friends who are in the industry, traditional film guys and girls who are so crazy talented, better than me by, by leaps and bounds. And that's 
awesome. But there's this new wave of video work that really is one or two people running around with really nice cameras, pulling off things that five or eight years ago would have been impossible and would have cost lots and lots of money. I say that all to say, as you're planning, if you've got the skill set and you've got the determination to work hard, you can produce really amazing stuff with very little. All the stuff that I'm bringing with me for this shoot has been acquired over a long period of time. I didn't just go out and buy this stuff in a day. So if you're feeling a little discouraged going like, shoot, I got a camera and a lens, great. I really think you could surprise yourself with what you could do. And that my friends is a wrap. We really do just have to wait. The shoot's uh, tomorrow afternoon. So we got a full day ahead of us. Either way, thank you so much for getting ready for a video shoot with me. I always feel a hell of a lot less lonely knowing I can bring you guys in on my creative journey. And if you wanna feel less lonely on your creative journey, then I recommend leaving a like, dropping a comment, and then ultimately subscribing to the channel. So that, here it comes, we can be creative together and feel less lonely. I just wanna give somebody something, you know, just, I just get hyped. <laughs> Thanks for being here. I'll see you in the next one. Peace.